The first tool we're going to use is called RSpec, and RSpec has a bunch of packages. There's a core set of packages that does uh, testing for any type of Ruby environment, and it allows you to do some description of your code and make sure that it works correctly and so forth. And then it's also got some Rails-specific features that it allows you to add to a Rails program. And so it's a very useful and often used testing framework for Rails. So let's just look a, a little basic idea of how our spec works. So I'm going to create a new file here that's Ruby and I'm not going to do shebang in this case because I'm not going to run it directly. I'm going to create a new function just uh, real simple here and all it's going to do is return A plus B. So you can see it, it is quite simple here so let's call this example that rb and now what we're going to do is normally this function would be in one file and the r spec would be in a separate file because you want to keep your implementation separate from your debugging and testing but I want to just show how to to use these uh, really simply so I'm going to create what's called a describe block so I'm going to give it a name, so our spec example. And so since it's a block, we have, have that. And then inside of this describe block, we're going to have a series of tests. And the difference between the describe and the test is that the tests start with the keyword it. And then this is going to be some description of the specific test. So while this is a description of the set of tests, this is the description of a specific test. So let's put this runs Ruby code to make sure it does the right thing. Okay, and this is a block just like anything else. And the format of our spec is that you say that you're going to expect and you're going to give it, this is a function, and that's going to do something and it's going to be passed a, a parameter. So we're going to expect that when we call my function with 1 and 2, we know that 1 plus 2 is 3, so we're going to expect that to equal 1 plus 2, or we could put 3 in there either way. So this is a very, very simple uh, RSpec example where we have the code that we would have done uh, differently in a more robust uh, setting and the test that, that tests that code. So let's go ahead and run that with RSpec and we just say RSpec and we give the code that we want RSpec to test it with and RSpec will churn and, and it puts a dot there and it's kinda hard to see so let's uh, add a little color in there and we can see green which fits in with our red green refactor that that we talked about here so let's go here and let's run another test I'm gonna just um, put it here and I'm going to put in something we know is wrong that my funk does not return one times two it returns one plus two so this is a different test and when we run it we see a green dot for success and a red F for failure and it tells us specifically where the failure is we expected this to that we, we expected to we got three we used equal for a comparison there's a lot of feedback in here we see where in the testing code it was wrong it's line 11 that's where the the failure was we ran two tests one failed and so we even get a description down here. Our spec example runs Ruby code to be sure that it does the right thing. So notice that what it did is it combined this description with this description to, to give this uh, description down here. So uh, our spec is really simple. Let's um, get this to pass by saying this is my other function and it receives two parameters as well and it returns their multiplication. So we say, oh yeah, we meant that to be my other function. We save that and 
then when we run it, now we should get two green dots because both passed this test and this test. Now, um, there's a lot more to, to our spec and how we use it with Rails, but this is a quick demonstration of, of how we're going to use our spec and we're going to learn more about our spec as it uh, pertains to the various tests that we will be writing for our Rails application.